Hey everyone, welcome back to Automation Fixation. Today we're going to explore the world of home automation by installing Home Assistant on Windows using VirtualBox. If you're looking to test out Home Assistant but not ready to invest in any hardware for it, this step-by-step -step guide will help you set up Home Assistant in no time using everything that you already have. So let's dive in. Home Assistant has already conveniently pre-configured a virtual machine or VM image for VirtualBox and you'll need this to be able to install it. Navigate to the Home Assistant website, home-assistant.io, and head to the Getting Started menu. Click on Installation, and on the right-hand side, click on Install Home Assistant on Windows. Navigate to the View Tutorial button. As we're going to use VirtualBox, download the VirtualBox VDI image file. While it is downloading, Let's also go and get VirtualBox. Head to Google and search for VirtualBox or go straight to virtualbox.org. VirtualBox is a hosted hypervisor for x86 virtualization and it's developed by Oracle and is freely available as open source. Click Downloads or the hard to miss Download VirtualBox button and then download the Windows Hosts platform package. Once the download is complete, let's go ahead and open the installer to install VirtualBox. Follow the prompts to install VirtualBox and just wait for it to install. And it looks like the image file has now downloaded. Open up where you downloaded it and extract it. Now that VirtualBox is installed and the VM image downloaded, Let's import it into VirtualBox. Go back into VirtualBox and first create a new virtual machine by clicking New. Name it something relevant such as Home Assistant and then select type Linux and specifically scroll to version Linux 2.6 or 3.x, 4.x and 64-bit. Click Next. Before we start the VM, let's configure some recommended settings. Under Hardware, select the amount of memory and the number of CPUs. While I didn't change this in this example, the minimum recommended settings are 2GB of RAM and 2 virtual CPUs. Make sure you select Enable EFI. This is important or you won't be able to load Home Assistant. Click Next. Under Virtual Hard Disk, select Use an existing virtual hard disk file. Click on Add and browse to the file that we just downloaded and extracted. Select Choose, and then Next, and finally Finish. Next, go to Settings, and go to Network, and then under Adapter 1, choose Attach To, to Bridged Adapter, and then select your own network adapter. This will be different depending on your setup. Finally, go to Audio and choose Intel HD Audio as the audio controller. Then select OK. Now that everything is set up, let's start the Home Assistant virtual machine. Click on Start. Once started, watch the boot process load. This will take a bit of time. Once ready, open a browser and navigate to homeassistant.local port 8123. Depending on your network settings, this might also be Home Assistant port 8123, or you might need to put the specific IP of the virtual machine. And we're almost there. Let's go through the Home Assistant initial setup process. This is going to take the most amount of time, so I'm going to skip through the wait. Once Home Assistant has completed its initial load, you will need to complete the initial setup. Click on Create My Smart Home. You will need to set up an account and password. The button looks like you can't push it, but you really can. So click Create Account, select a name, username, password, and then click Create Account. For locational functionality, you will need to select your location details. 
select your location, and then next. In my case, I've selected Melbourne, Australia. You have the option to submit diagnostic data, or just select next. If Home Assistant is able to find any devices automatically on your network, they will show up here and automatically add them. Select Finish. And finally, you will be taken to the Home Assistant main overview screen. And there you have it. Home Assistant is now up and running on your Windows machine through VirtualBox. If you encounter any issues or have questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.